Duchess Homestead to tear with you real quick on a quick video, impromptu video. We're outside in the mud and the muck and we are changing out brooders, we're feeding animals, we're moving things around before it gets dark and we are cleaning things up and I thought, have we made a video on this? Let me tell you something right now. So when you are in brooder phase with little baby chicks, especially the first couple of days, they're very small, they're very sensitive, and some breeds are smaller than others, okay? Let me give you a tip here. You may have seen these, you may have worked with a few of these things. This may broaden your horizons, okay? So a lot of folks see this, right? Mr. Peaches sees it too. And this is your base for your chicken waterer, okay? You go to the Tractor Supply Rural King Handy Dandy Store and you buy these little things right here and you attach them to this, to this base. It's all about that base, okay? And they drink out of it, okay? Now, let me tell you something. This doesn't look like a whole lot of nothing, but it can be depending on the size of the baby chicks. So let me give you two tips, okay? You can get this size and when you put the water in this and you put it into the brooder, which, you know, you might want to think about putting a little, on, on a little stand, okay? Like a little plate turned upside down, terracotta or something from the house, something real simple to keep it a little bit elevated so therefore you don't have an issue with getting the pine shavings in it, okay? But <clears throat> when you do that, you want to add marbles in the bottom. That's right, little glass marbles. Your kids play with marbles. I hope so. <laughs> if you can get them real cheap at most place, in a lot of different places, you get a whole little bag, and you're gonna put probably somewhere in the ballpark of about 20 or so, maybe up to you know 20, 25 marbles, just in there, okay? And what that does is it um, keeps the baby chicks from submerging into the base, so they don't drown. Would you, would you quit? So they don't drown. Guys, you'd be surprised if you have a lot of baby chicks in a brooder and you've got one that's the runt and one that gets smothered or one that gets kind of in the herd. <laughs> um, you know, you might have a problem with them. They may not necessarily drown per se, but if they get really, really wet because they've stepped all in it and got really wet and their down is really wet and then they're out away from the heat source, they can chill. So that is a great option for you. It's a little bit extra work on your part for the first couple of days, but it might save a chicky baby's life. Number two, let me tell you something else. Depending on the breed, especially if you get smaller breeds, like I said, if you've got Rhode Island Reds and Buff Warpingtons and whatnot, you're gonna quickly notice that those um, babies, even as little tiny, just a couple day old baby chicks, are literally going to be bigger than say a Leghorn. You'd be surprised. If you have Guinea, uh, not Guineas, if you have, um, uh, quail for sure, you will be blown away at how small they are. So what you have here, and I'm going to show you the difference in the base, is you have the little quail base. You see that? This might actually work really well for your baby chicks too. So now it's probably only going to be good for you for, like I said, the first four, five, six days, and then you can graduate to this size, okay? And then you'll continue to graduate up. So here's what I'm suggesting. Marbles in this one. 20, 25 or so, you gauge that depending on the size of the marbles. Or you can start off easily with the quail base for the first few couple of days as well. And they can't get down, they can drink with ease, but they're not gonna get their little bodies in it. Hope this video helps you out. Oh, did you say hi to everybody? Hope you guys are having a great chick season. We'll talk to you soon and y'all take care out there.